uh, it is one of the applications. So most of the time uh, we are required to compare two voltage levels uh, in practically. Uh, for example, temperature measurement, you can compare the actual measured one with the reference one. So, um, so that whenever the measured temperature goes beyond certain value or reference value, then you get notification either by email or SMS or display at user interface. It's uh, really up to the system uh, implementation or it can just give some kind of buzzer alarm. So this, I think this application we have already seen, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, so we have some kind of sensor and the sensor we are putting in some uh, environment like uh, maybe we are putting this, um, let's say um, the COVID vaccine uh, because the COVID vaccine right now is the Corona situation is almost over, but the COVID vaccine when we transport the temperature should be uh, about minus 80 degree Celsius. So the COVID vaccine, maybe it's inside the truck. They are transporting the COVID medicine from one location to another location. And they have this uh, medicine and we put inside the medicine box, we put the sensor. So sensor is watching the temperature of this box, the cool, cold, cold box. So it must, the reference value is minus 80 degree. Measure the temperature value, that is the real time measurement. So real time measurement, I am measuring every second. So now I am measuring like a minus 81. So I am comparing the reference value. The reference value is set is minus 80 degree. And minus 80 degree and minus 81 degree, this is okay. So I get a low at the output. So the sensor is just comparing, it's comparing this reference value and the real time value. This is the reference value and this is the real time value. So every second it's comparing this and this. And if, uh, for example, this reference value is, uh, or the measured value, this is the real time value or measured value is greater than the reference value, then I give zero at the output from the circuit. So it means the buzzer is cannot be activated. The maybe this is the some kind of a buzzer. It will give a sound. So it's disabled. But this measured value is going uh, less than this reference value. This measured value going less than the reference value. So it means what in practically, maybe suddenly the temperature, the measured temperature is became minus 70. Instead of mine, then this minus 70 value is uh, much different from this reference value. So then this circuit will give one. Then this buzzer will get activated. So then either the truck driver or maybe the control room, they will get to know, okay, the temperature is changing in the, inside this box because the sensor is giving this uh, alarm. So then they have to do something. They have to immediately see if any fault inside this cold box or something. So comparator is useful in so many, so many applications. This is just one example. This logic can be applicable in the hospital also in healthcare applications. So you have a patient sitting in the, uh, sleeping in the bed. Maybe this person is, is in the emergency condition. So we need to measure his heartbeat all the time. So the heartbeat, I set up maybe uh, 75 as the normal, or maybe I set up the range. 75 to 80 is the reference value I set up. So this is the reference value. So the, there is a sensor that is sensing the heartbeat of this person all the time. And the measured real time value is between this 75 to 80, then there is no problem. But if the heartbeat suddenly goes down to 70, this is just for example, this is not the real time value. So if it goes 70 or it goes, maybe suddenly it goes to 90, then what? It means this, this person is in danger. So his heartbeat start to be like an overbeat or uh, underbeat. So then immediately the doctor or nurse 
should come and take care of this person, right? So what is happening here? We have the circuit design. We have some kind of comparator circuit here in the back, in the back end. So this comparator is always comparing the real time measured one and this reference value. So if the measured value is under this, between this uh, reference range, then there is no problem. But this measured value goes like this extreme low or extreme high. The, uh, it means it's over than or less than the reference value. Then immediately this uh, buzzer will activate it or the doctor or nurse will get the notification in the SMS or in the PC. So that is the comparator, how important the comparator is. It's, it's, this is the logic we are using everywhere in all the applications. Uh, so whenever the measured value goes beyond the reference value, then we need to immediately uh, give some notification to the user. Of course, this is just some few uh, examples, but the same logic is used in so many applications, like the pressure measurement, humidity measure, pressure measurement, for example, in the oil and gas industry, humidity measurement. Uh, for example, you can check the humidity level in the soil, in the, in the agriculture farm, and you can do the body parameters measurements in healthcare and so many industrial parameters measurements. Okay, so comparator is important circuit. So if the input is now, you can see here, this is the basic operational amplifier with the open loop configuration. There is no feedback. So now we are applying two inputs to these two input terminals. I am applying two volt to this positive input terminal and one volt to this negative input terminal. So here at the positive input terminal, the value is higher, right? This is the two volt. Then here the output will be positive. Why? You know the formula, right? V out is equal to VD, that is V1 minus V2, that is the VD times A. A is the gain of this operational amplifier. Now let us assume this A is, it's a unity gain. It means the A value is one. So we can just ignore this. So V1 minus V2. So now this uh, two minus one, V1, this is V1 and this is V2. So two minus one, that is going to be plus one volt. So that is a positive. So that we can consider, we will have, get here as a plus one volt in this case. So we can take this as a logic high. So everything is okay. Here, now, now you can see, similarly, just we are inverting the inputs. So now we are applying one volt to this positive and then the two volt to this negative. So now what is the output? Okay, uh, so this circuit uh, looks similar to the buffer circuit. Buffer means, but we just need a negative feedback. Whenever we use operational amplifier in open loop configuration, it works as a comparator. So the formula for output voltage is A times V1 minus V2. So this is, we can simply call this as a differential voltage VD. Uh, difference, sorry, different voltage difference. Uh, that is the VD. Uh, v out is equal to A times V D. So here we know this V D is the difference between two inputs. A is the open loop gain of this operational amplifier. So, but in open loop, the output will be equal to the saturation voltage of op amp. So here we have <coughs> plus V set or V plus and V minus. These are the saturation voltages. So instead of getting plus one minus one here, whenever the voltage or at this terminal is more than this reference value, then we get V plus at the output. So this is considered as a logic high. And whenever this reference value goes more than this uh, input value, then we get minus V, uh, sorry, V minus at the output. It is the negative saturation value. Then we can consider this as a logic low. This logic low or logic high will activate enable or disable the buzzer or whatever the, uh, the notification method we implemented in the system. 
so it can work as a comparator remember uh, input can be applied to either this terminal or this terminal it's not a matter if you apply input to this positive then the negative will be the reference if you apply the input to this negative terminal then the positive will have reference value so it's up to the designer i if you are the designer you can design okay so if the input is applied to a non inverting input terminal then it's called non inverting comparator if the input is applied to just you just exchange this now you apply this input here and then the reference value here you are applying input to this inverting input terminal so we call this as an inverting comparator and whenever v in this is the v in greater than v ref we get high at the output so we get v plus we consider as a high whenever this v in is less than v ref it means the reference value is high the more value so v in less than v ref then we get this minus v minus at the output that we consider as a logic low okay so here you can see this waveform so this is the waveform this is the reference value i set so reference value maybe i set the reference value as the plus 5 volt remember whatever the parameter we are measuring it's a pressure or it's a temperature or it's a body parameter everything will be converted in terms of voltage and we are just only doing the waveform we are seeing the oscilloscope in terms of uh, voltage waveform or current waveform okay so here i set up the reference as a 5 volt this is the reference value i set in one terminal now i am applying the input input is not the dc signal this is a dc voltage input is like as uh, here it's a triangular wave it can be any other wave because the naturally the signal is going to vary with respect to time so here you can see now the input is going from zero and then now it's more than the reference value and then of course after that it will fall down and then it just going down so here this is the reference so here this point v in is less than the reference value so here we get the output as low zero and here you can see the between this point to this point the input voltage v in is this is the v in right so v in is greater than this v ref so maybe this is plus 6 volt or plus 7 volt at this point and then falling down so here we have the logic high at the output similarly here the voltage the this input signal is going down the magnitude and then just rising up again so between this part the input voltage is less than the reference voltage the output is low and here again the input voltage is more than the reference value the output is high now again it's low and then the output is low so if you just to see in the oscilloscope you can see it more obviously how the comparator works so now the previous one is the non inverting comparator now we will see the inverting comparator if the input is applied to this inverting terminal then it's called non uh, sorry inverting terminal then this is called inverting comparator okay same here uh, so here when v in is greater than v ref what we are getting here so we get v minus right then we consider a, a logic low at the output similarly when v in is less than v ref so here this is the v in uh, and this is the v ref then we can uh, we get v plus at the output then we consider logic high at the output so the waveform is the same so here you can see according to the circuit configuration you are using so here for example v ref this is the v in v in is less than v ref so we get logic high at the output and here v in is greater than v ref so here we get logic low at the output so here just opposite whatever we see here we see the totally opposite because based on the application you need to uh, reverse the circuit design so that's really up to where you are going to use this 
uh, operational amplifier. So you can set up the circuit accordingly. So you can apply the input to the negative or uh, you can apply the input to the positive. Then the logic will be totally opposite. You should remember that. This is the analog device. This is how we are performing the analog comparison operation. Analog comparison is slower than the digital comparison. That is the, uh, the point you have to know here. So op-amp is mainly designed for linear applications. It means uh, the response of operational amplifier will not be will not be too fast. So it's slow. And we will also require to use one more external pull-up resistor at the output. So it may sometimes require one more pull-up resistor here. So that is also extra component. It will have extra uh, power dissipation as well. So this is called open collector configuration. Uh, so when you consider the very large circuit, each op -amp, if it's going to have one extra resistor, then it's going to add the over cost as well. So the conclusion is, if your application is not critical, uh, do not require any fast response, then operational amplifier can be used as a comparator. For example, in analog to digital converter, we do not really need very fast response. So we can use the operational, operational amplifier to perform the comparison operation. So this is okay. But if you really, if you are going to do the comparison operation for some healthcare application, healthcare application, you are going to use this uh, comparator, then you cannot really use this op pump based comparator. You better use digital comparator, the CMOS transistor based comparator. So the response is quite, quite fast. So because you are using the microprocessor to handle these things, so the microprocessor is also handling everything in, is in terms of zeros and ones. The microprocessor is already having inbuilt digital comparator. So you don't need to really need the external comparator, which is based on the operational amplifier. So this is the conclusion. So if your application is not critical like this ADC, then you can use this op-amp based comparator. Otherwise you better use digital comparator.